Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user Ak in Discord, so I must say thank you to them for sending this in. And their system is called the Froland system, a sequel to the Entity system. I believe that was the Entity the Living Star system we saw quite a while back and that was quite an interesting system. I did quite like that one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see this uh, sequel so workshop should really be ready for us where are we there it is okay excellent all right let's see what we have here okay so Frolance system so Frolance, yeah so here it is it is a black hole a large black hole in the andromeda galaxy which serves as the center of this five star system possible site of future black hole energy experiments Ooh, interesting Next up, we've got Annex. Okay. So there's other individual systems. Okay, so F1. 0 0.6 solar mass star orbiting closest to the black hole. Okay. Right, first of the planets. These names are getting pretty, pretty mad already. So this one is UNIF. Okay. A small tidal lock world around Anax that is particularly rich in iron. It has been completely divided between mining and corporations due to this resource abundance. Okay. Nice. Looks like we got this one. Liran. Cool. This one does not have a description. Then we have Fool over here. Tidal lock planet that has been deemed safe for long term human habitation. Many large housing projects have already finished construction. Okay. We have this one over here. Nili. Nili, yeah. 0 0.6 tubes of mass gas giant home to three large moons. It used to have a large storm covering one third of the planet, but it has recently disappeared. Okay. Kind of like a red spot in some ways. Similar to Jupiter. Has some moons as well. So they all are there. Very nice. Next up, we got Aran, which is where is that? So we've just done that one. Arian, where, where is that one then? So we did the Jupiter. We definitely did the Jupiter one. That was this one. Yes, yeah, so we did. We did Nilly. So we need to find this one. Aran. Is that is that one of the moons? Oh, it is one of the moons. Okay, so that one there. The first major moon. This rocky moon is home to some tourist attractions that are slowly dying due to the massive storm on the planet vanishing. Okay. Then we have this one here. A scene. And then we have this one over here. Okay. That one didn't get a mention, I don't think. Okay, so next up we have this one over here. Several. Okay. An Earth-sized icy planet with a primarily nitrogen argon atmosphere. Okay, there's a moon as well. Munt. The only moon is a grey crater surface as seen in as seen in a photograph by award-winning photographer Carly Zimstrop. It's still the picture commonly used to depict the Anax system. Nice. And there it is underneath. Okay. Nice. Moving on, we got Turku here. All the way there, it's a gas giant. Tursu, sorry. A nice giant which is believed to once have a full moon and ring system before it was disrupted due to the arrival. The arrival. The what arrival, though? Interesting. There's a moon as well. Tussin, over here. An Earth sized moon that is confirmed to be a captured object. It is believed that its arrival in the system ejected or destroyed all of its major moons. Ah, so that was the arrival, okay. Kind of like a Triton disrupting Neptune in a way. Okay, and then lastly we have this one over here. Um, Errant, the last object in orbit of this star. Cool, okay. Right, so now we're heading on to the second of the stars. Let's make a jump out there. So which one are we heading to? Is it the SC011? Okay, so SCO1B, is that one? We're doing it in a different order. Oh my god, there's so many. 
Okay, so it looks like we're going to that one later then. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it's hard to navigate this text. It's all one massive paragraph. Oh my god. Right, so... Let's see. So we did that. Okay, so yeah, we're here. Okay, so... We're heading to this, we're heading to this star next. Interesting. So we've jumped a star for some reason. Okay, so here it is. 3.5 stellar mass sequence star. The second largest object in the Frolan system. Obviously behind the black hole. Okay. So first off the planets here. Heliov. A Jupiter-sized burning gas giant. Its atmosphere is engulfed in a never-ending inferno. Many energy companies have considered using this for energy until realising that this close to a star solar power just makes more sense. Okay. Next up we've got this one here. Fur name. A super earth which is host to even worse living conditions than Venus. I'm not surprised. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's completely scorched. Has a moon though. Print. There it is. Okay. Next up we've got this one. Tilt ivd. A rocky world with a thin nitrogen carbon dioxide atmosphere that is a 70 degree tilt. Okie dokie. There it is. Has a moon as well. Plunks, or Plunk, yeah, Plunks, a small asteroid caught in orbit around, notable for high platinum content, that has made it quite valuable. Okay. Big chunk of uh, platinum there, and there's another moon as well, Tanks, over here. Cool. Lovely. Right, next up we are heading to this one. Stern. Saturn-sized gas giant, most notable for its striking grey colour. It is one of only three known gas giants have this coloration. Interesting. Okay. Uh, next up we have this moon here, Ibinist. First of uh, the major moons, its high iron concentration is made at a hotspot of industry. And we have Ore, the smallest moon. Um, the large amounts of gold in its crust have caused many electronic companies to flock to this moon. Yet yeah, gold is a good conductor of electricity like copper. Um, we have this one here. Has that one got a mention? I'm skipping this one. There's no mention of it. And then this one is Skull. The last of the major moons. And why do they even make people write these? It's not like we have sophisticated algorithms. Besides, no people has read one of these database entries in decades. Ah, uh, whatever. This won't get past the sensors anyway. Interesting. Okay. Next up, we've got Kron. Over here. Kron. There it is. Rocky Dwarf Planet within Alice's Asteroid Belt. Its only notable quality is having the least ship traffic of any planet in the system. Okay. It's all alone. Then we have this one here. Dran Dindar. A large 1.4 Jupiter mass gas giant with a striking ring system and five major moons. Okay. Cool. Okay. We have some of these moons here. Uh, Nisank, which is this one. So skipping the first one, there we go. Oh, it's really hard to remember your place when you look away from the text for one second. So Nisank here. Known around the Federation as one of the most tropical hotspots in Andromeda. The only thing holding this moon back from being in the top is its inhospitable atmosphere, which several terraformation projects have been proposed to fix. Okie dokie. Then we have Lednin over here. A major moon with a thick sulfur dioxide atmosphere, water oceans, and as it name would suggest, a lot of lead. Okay. We have this one here, Cypher. No description there. And then this one here, Stunter. Get a description for that one. Oh, I'm really losing my place where we are. So that would that one have a description at the Axin one? Where's that one gone? So we did Cypher and then okay, so Stunter. If there's no description for that one, so now we're heading to the next object, which is this one, yeah, Axin here. Okay. Uh, Four, uh, sorry, four uh, Earth mass super Earth that has been deemed a no-fly zone due to the presence of a naturally occurring alien ecosystem. Okay. Interesting. 
And then we have some other objects here. So Shmovin. It is weird how some of the moons have a mention, but some aren't. It really is throwing me off with <laughs> trying to read where we are. Because I'm seeing these names and I'm not seeing them on the list. So it looks like we're moving on again to Onala. Over here. Or are we? Oh, yeah, so this one here, yeah. Another grey gas giant. The surprisingly low salt concentration of its crust has caused this moon... Wait, what? This is the planet, isn't it? Anala. Uh... So that's the size of only a rich gas giant with several rich moons. Okay, got ya. So we have this one here. Rios. The first and largest major moon. The surprisingly low salt... Okay, so that's one. Okay. Of course, it needs to be divided by many companies. We've got Povna. Which is this one. The smallest moon with large jade crystals sticking out from its icy crust, thought to have arrived from a collision with a crystalline minor moon. Nice. And lastly, we got Oslop Oz here. The last major moon, housing a surprising amount of long term human residencies set up to survey the gas giant. Nice. Coolio. Okay, moving on to this one here. Pr Prilwen. A large ice giant with a very eccentric and inclined orbit, believed to have been caused by an encounter with another star in the past. Nice. So we've got these moons here. So Enrun, we've got Nerm, and then Merm. <laughs> so all of those guys. Okay. Cool. So that's, that is definitely your Uranus analogue of the system for sure. And that is everything around this star. Okay. So three major moons believed to be part of a previously ex existing moon that has been fractured. Okay, right, so now we're moving on to Arine. So where's that? Another star. I'm guessing that's over here. Yeah, it is. Okay. So Avron and then Arine here. Binary partners. Okay, cool. Right, first of the planets, we've got this one here. Scop. There it is. Oh, there we go. Okay, moving on, we've got this one. Kranst. Some of these names, Sniff. <laughs> Interesting names. We got There we go, those guys as well. The first and smallest of major moons, it is unusually high abundance of amino acids in its ice depths that has been researched. We got this one as well. Yearn. The most no least notable, there isn't much to say. <laughs> okay. Um, then we have this one as well. No description for that. Okay. So we're heading next. So navigation is a bit difficult now. Um, jewel, that's it. Green gas giant. Privacy Verkan. This 3.5 Jupiter mass planet has been recently dyed green and renamed to Jewel as a marketing stunt by Space Frog <laughs> Limited. <laughs> To advertise their launch with KSP Early Access after acquiring the IP. Okay. I like the previous century attempts. This time the game wasn't slightly cancelled and reached a fuel release date. This giant has since become a major tourist spot for the fandom. All of this despite the fact that nothing else about the planet resembles its new colour. It resembles a famous gas giant. Okay. I don't know much about that game, so I, 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 I don't. This stuff isn't familiar to me. Um... We got Astin, the first of Jules' major moons, and the smallest as well. Huge tourist attractions, all centered around the KSP community. So this guy obviously likes KSP. Um, has been built around the planet since the planet was done. Right, okay. Then we've got the other moons there as well. Okay, so moving on. Got this one here. Gr Gry. An Earth-sized icy bubble with a thin ammonia crust. Its striking features are the vast oceans of methane and oxygen-rich atmosphere. This is quite the velocity combo, and the entire planet is expected to burst into flame in the near future. Ooh, that thing gets hot. Oh. So we've got some moons. This one here, we've got Lawn. Largest moon covered in the thick and bare ammonia. Oh, wow, it's losing material like crazy. Look at that. Massive trail coming out of it. Oh, what's going on here? It's weird how I can only see the glow from one side. Very bizarre. That's so strange. Okay, so there it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Monia geysers, huh? Okay. Cool. 
Right, so I think that's everything around those guys. Yeah, around the binary. So it looks like we're finishing off with that star we went to earlier. Okay, so SCO1 star. Here it is. First entry in the stellar creation is cascade and objects. Red Dwarf Star, that is 0.1 solar masses. So we've got Object B here. Ah, a lot easier names, that's great. <laughs> First planet, its surface is covered in Tyrian purple. Then we have C. No description for this one. Looks like it has some sort of decent conditions. We've got D. Then we have E. Earth sized planet with small pools of cytoplasm dots in the surface. Lovely. There it is. Then we have F. Super Earth with an unusually high sulfur dioxide content. There you go. And then G. Where is G? Very far away. Recently discovered far out world of thick and an unusually dark hydrogen atmosphere. Only found due to minor gravitational lensing. That is very dark, isn't it? Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Okay. Then it looks like it's just a change log of. There's stuff at the bottom there, so... Okay, there you go. It's all in the years, though. So it's some sort of log of... When they were doing things. Like the name changed that planet. The crap, the one that got changed to green. Okay, so there it is. There's all of those uh, bits there. So there we are. That does it for this system, everybody. So what do you think of that? It's quite interesting. I don't really know how it was a sequel to the Entity system, though. It didn't have any relation or mention of it. So that's a bit confusing. Um, if, this, if the creator, please elaborate. So that was uh, at user Ack in Discord. Yeah, he said the sequel to the entity system, but there's no reference of the original. It, if you didn't tell me that, I wouldn't know. I mean, I don't, I didn't see any relations. I mean, it, unless I missed the plot, let me know. But um, yeah, I didn't see any relation to the original system in that one. But there it is. There's the lineup. So quite a nice load of gas giants. Quite a realistic sort of look um, for most of the gas giants. Actually, you've got the regular gases, the ices. Obviously, you've got the crazy green one, but that's about it. Rocky planets. Again, it's quite a realistic design, I think, so looking good. But yeah, that will send down everybody. Again, a massive create or thank you to the creator of this system, Ak, in Discord. So massive thanks to that. And yeah, if you enjoyed this system, make sure to press that like button, subscribe for more. Let's see if we can go over 100 likes. That'd be absolutely amazing, guys. And yeah, subscribe helps on the journey to 50,000 subscribers. And yeah, that will send down everybody. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.